Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Jason Matuk, your favorite luxury real estate expert. And today we are in Fort Lauderdale, taking a look at a new construction home located in the Enclave. The Enclave is an exclusive gated community with only 36 lots sitting on Coral Ridge Country Club's renowned Robert Trent Jones Sr. 18 hole championship golf course. Welcome to 3884 Country Club Lane. It's got six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, 6,100 square feet, built in 2021, and it's asking $7,900,000. And before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to Vicky with Coldwell Banker for allowing us to do this tour. And on that note, let's get started. As we make our way up the super wide driveway, you have a three bay garage but don't let the front fool you. On the other side, there's a fourth bay. That's just for your golf cart. It's got chargers for a Tesla for the golf cart itself and access straight to the golf course. And as I said, super wide, U-turns, three-point turns, everything's happening with ease. I like the wood accents. I love the little shade under here when you come straight up to the front door towards the foyer area. And why don't we just head inside? Stepping in. Wow, so the first thing that you notice is the floor to ceiling window straight ahead of you. I can see golfers having the time of their lives. I can see the beautiful blue skies. Everything's very open. Perfect formal sitting room next to a fireplace. If you were in Florida this past week, you realized, Eric knows, it was freezing. I had every jacket from the back of my closet on my body. Well, in this house, you just kick on the fireplace and you're having a good time. Art beautifully placed these super high ceilings with the high hats above. And again, as I mentioned, the floor to ceiling window just brings it all together. Eric, if you want to meet me on this side, there's actually a cool feature back here. We have what could be a bedroom because, you know, sliding pocket door, but this owner, he's a little different. He said, cigar room, boom. We have a cigar room complete with your lighter, everything here, sit down, talk a little business, make a deal happen, pay for the house with the work that goes on in this room. You have a cabana bath right over there. Yeah, running around the whole house, it's right here. Love that. And so let's stay on this side, cross this fireplace one more time. One of the most important ones, you know, let's say you're sitting in the living room. I love examples, you know I do. Let's say you're sitting in the living room, you gotta use the bathroom, half bathroom for the guests, hidden. It's got the cool tile work going on here, the sink, Tons of space, light fixture, everything is just really nicely done, and then more art. And so across from this, just adjacent, we're gonna look at guest bedroom number one. You have, you know, single queen bed, ensuite, walk-in closet, and then how about this for some natural light? You can pan over there if you want, Eric. Floor to ceiling window. So we're off to a great start. Follow me. More pocket doors, so if you're entertaining and you wanna separate the cooking or whatever, you can do that over here, but for these purposes, we'll leave it open. And this is a great room, look at this. We got the bar on one side, liquor, smiles, wine coolers, wine openers. And then when you get your drink all situated, the old fashioned, your favorite, you come over here, you sit down, and while you're sitting here, fireplace on your TV, golf on your left, the pool, the city of Fort Lauderdale at your disposal. We have a place up here to enjoy a cocktail from a high top, you know, another ashtray for the cigar enthusiast. But let's talk about this kitchen. This kitchen's got quartz counters, five seaters for the bar stools. As we come around, it's unbelievable amount of space. Throughout the entire Thanksgiving platter right on this thing. Down below, I got the microwave, two dishwashers, you know, Thermador, gas stove, two ovens, vent above. The vent is the width of the entire counter. You know, I like the white brick backsplash as well. Down over here, make this a coffee station, little drink storage station, anything over here. And this is like one of your dining rooms. This is like the breakfast dining room, less formal even, because you do got the nice views, but the space isn't as big as the other one that you'll see in a second. And then obviously an important feature that I left out, walk-in pantry. Boom. You got your snacks, your pleasantries, a little water, a little tequila. I'm seeing a lot of stuff in here I like. Just saying. 
fridge, freezer. Oh, this is two fridges. There's storage for glasses, bottles, goes on and on forever. Never complain about having to throw out a glass or two because you ran out of room. Everything stays, everything stays. Before I take you outside to the pool area, let me just take you down here and show you the dining room. This is what I meant. This is like the formal, huge ceiling. Look at that light fixture above, ridiculous. Surrounded by art. Even the staircase to me is art and the openness of this room, you know, it's unparalleled. You can't even compare it to the other one. We'll come down here, follow me. You'll notice on the floor, these little openers, these are house vacs. So a hose comes out, vacuum goes away. No need to walk around with the hose specifically. And then this is an important feature. You don't want to miss it. That's an elevator button for the elevator. While that's coming down, let's look over here. Guest bedroom again, same kind of layout, you know, queen size bed, closet, the ensuite right over here. Huge shower, love the floors as well, but I think this thing should be here by now. You wanna pass behind me? Boom. Open it up and you got your elevator. The last thing really to see here is the laundry room. On my right, you got one on the first floor and one on the second floor. And then behind me is a three car garage. I'm gonna show you. Like I said, three bay garage, beautiful little tiny little, little, little Frenchy, good belly. And then you have the three cars, yeah. That's your golf cart bay door, charger for a Tesla, charger for the golf cart, another puppy right down below. And I love that right here. You can literally just take your golf cart out and head to the fields, meet the boys, meet the girls, have a great time, enjoy the, thank you, enjoy the, the fields, what do they call them, the holes? The golf pitch. The pitch, enjoy the pitch. And so from here, let's actually head back inside before I fall in love with this dog and steal it. And let me show you the backyard. Stepping out. And I just wanna point out, we've done a few properties in this neighborhood and the view that you normally get is like just like the hill of the golf course, but not here. You could see the openness, the 18 holes some golfers, the buildings in the distance. And so watch, outside, outdoor dining room, my favorite place to have a meal. Under the shade, how about this? Between the two, we have a fireplace that you could light up when it's extra cold and enjoy from both sides. Who's complaining? And I actually almost missed it, Eric, real quick. We have a grill out here with a little bit of a shower. Boom! Just kidding, that would ruin everything I'm wearing. But you have the shower out here, even for your feet, after taking a dip in the pool. And speaking of the pool, let's get a closer look. Look at the size of this pool. I love the finish. It's almost like a tamed blue. Not too dark, not too light. And the width of the steps over here and the shallow area, perfect for kids. Perfect for grandma so she doesn't drown. We don't want grandma to drown. And then on this side, look at all the space you have. More entertaining, ping pong table, TV on the wall. For me personally, I'm watching sports and fights out here. And I wanna just leave you with the view of the back facade of this house because it looks so cool. A lot of the lots look the same. This one stands out completely. Look at that view, beautiful home. And so now that we're finished with the first floor of this home, let's actually head back inside, head upstairs, and let me show you the main suite and the rest of the bedrooms. Follow me. All right, so we just finished up with the first floor, as I said. Let's skedaddle up these stairs. Why did I say skedaddle? <laughs> and we'll get this side finished pretty quick because I want to take you straight to the main suite. Up here, elevator. You've seen it downstairs, you know what it looks like. And then down over here on this side is actually the upstairs laundry room. Perfect, no need to go up and down the elevator with your clean clothes or your dirty clothes. I love the bridge taking you over there. This is the main suite, we're gonna skip it for now. We're gonna come across the bridge. Golf carters going back and forth. Love the view from here. To the other end of the bridge, we got two more guest bedrooms into this one. King size bed, walk-in closet, its own private ensuite, and then even its own private balcony. You could step up, 
do your thing, see the world, come back in. And on the opposite side, you kind of get the same vibe. Boom, this one doesn't have a balcony, but it's got a floor to ceiling window, just like the one below it on the first floor and its own ensuite. But that's not why you came here. You came here to see the main suite. Well, let me take you and show you the size of this room. It's incredible. The views are incredible. Everything's incredible. I gotta find a new adjective immediately. Boom. Come into here. Pop her open. And here we are. Sitting here doing work, looking out onto the world would be amazing. I don't even need an office if I had this. But then here's the room itself. The space you have in here. Ideal, a king size bed every day you wake up, golf course, the water, Fort Lauderdale at your fingertips. You also have a balcony, said that for the end as I step into the bathroom. This is the main suite bathroom, and I love the way they separated everything. So you got the dual sinks with this gorgeous backsplash, got the wood shelf, and then check this out the shower and tub are separated. So you got the walk in shower over here with the two rain heads dual everything the drain is nice and modern and hidden and then you got the soaking tub you're sitting here watching golf people hit pars and birdies maybe even a bogey or two i don't know i played wee golf and i just love the little seat right here with the same backsplash that was on the shower and behind the mirrors you can even have a vanity over here for the missus or you sometimes mister we don't judge we don't judge eric and then down over here uh, on the same you know, page is having dual everything. Toilet on one side, toilet on the other side. My favorite saying, you got two toilets, there's no arguments. Simple. And then into the closet. This thing is ridiculous. This closet's got an echo. Slight echo. Island in the middle. Enough space for his, hers, theirs, mine. Like there's so much space in here. Shoes on the wall, hats. Even the belt rack is just, a touch it's like being in a department store and so from here the last thing i'm going to leave you with i love you guys so much is the view from the balcony stepping out main suite balcony i just showed you the world inside and this is it this is where it all ends you can see the world from here the view the buildings the pool your friends downstairs this place is incredible I just want to say thank you for coming on this tour with me. If you'd like to see homes like this, crazier homes, more affordable homes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. And if this is your first time on my channel, I just want to say thank you again. I love you guys. I care about you. Care about you more than any other YouTuber cares about their audience. That's a fact. And I hope you have a great new year. This is the last video of the year, most likely, unless I get lucky. And I hope you have a, I hope you had a blessed 2022. Hope you have a great 2023. And we're gonna continue on. We're not gonna stop until I get to the top. Word to the rock. That doesn't rhyme. All right, have a good day.